You know, we got to start off with a special story. It's only a book, but for many families, the Christmas jar is really a miracle. I read it every season. It's a story about how a young newspaper reporter is seeking to uncover the secret behind glass jars filled with coins and bills that are being left anonymously for people in need. It's a great story. The fictional story inspired many real-life donations, too, and one Utah family experienced the miracle of the Christmas jars firsthand. Yellow monster. Oh, no! Last week, Nate Moore lost his job, and on the same day, learned his wife Laura was pregnant with their second child. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn out the light. This young family was already struggling to stay afloat, and with their financial obligations mounting, the usual joy felt during this season was just not present. This Christmas, I wasn't really in the whole, you know, spirit of it, just because. Everything was going by so fast. I just was a little too worried about how we were going to still pay bills. A stranger came to their rescue. That's when the knock came at the door and there was a lady standing there. I'd never seen her before. And she said, are you Laura Moore? And I said, yes. And she said, I um, have something for her. I have a delivery for you. And then just turned around and walked off. I was like, thanks. And then um, as I stepped back inside, I recognized that the jar had a bunch of coins in it. And I, was kind of turning over and there was a hundred dollar bill on the bottom. This stranger brought hope to a family in need. Um, after this happened, it just kind of woke me up a little bit more to the love that's in the world. You know, we just barely moved into this area and I mean, we've only been here for three months and it really, really surprised me that there was such a generosity towards a family that they didn't know. At first, it made me feel, you know, bad because I didn't want people to think we were some charity case, but. You know, the more I think about it, it's just, you know, humbling that, you know, someone would go out of the way. And, and the phenomenon isn't confined to just this family. Others have been touched by the message of the Christmas jars. When we told our family about what had happened, um, quite a few of them hadn't ever heard of the Christmas jar idea. And um, the two of them have now, that I know of, have started their own jars for next year. And it really has quite has inspired them to help other families as much. This Christmas jar has just changed hundreds, if not thousands, of lives. The miracle is not in the jar. It's what happens after the jar is given. And that is why people are compelled to tell the story. We have gotten letters, we've gotten emails, mainly emails, uh, hundreds, if not thousands of them, uh, telling us about their stories. And why are people touched by the message this book brings? Well, perhaps the author himself says it best. Over the course of 12 months, these jars will fill slowly but with purpose. Every day, if only for an instant, the benefactor will consider Christmas. For most, there will be a sweet daily reminder of what this day we call Christmas means. Really is amazing. In just three years, more than half a million copies of that book have been sold. In fact, unlike most reads, this book seems to be gaining momentum as the years pass. And that's because as one person reads it, they are then compelled to share the concept with others. English teacher Michelle Denson is one such reader. She had her ninth grade English classes read the book, and after doing so, they embraced the message with their own Christmas jar. These are the stories that we love to tell. Thank you so much for being here and Thank helping you. us tell more of these stories. Because the Christmas stars, there are so many stories. Uh, surrounding it, like we've mentioned. Tell us about your particular experience with the Christmas stars. Well, we had the opportunity to have Jason Wright come to our school in November, and so we read the Christmas stars as a class, and then heard his message, and then our school sponsors the Sub for Santa program, and I decided that we would create our own Christmas jar and have the students donate to it. And I kept the jar on my desk, locked it up every night, and just watched the jar fill up. And it was just an incredible experience. The kids were so excited to see it fill and bring in the money. And it actually weighed a lot by the time I finally turned it all in and and gave them the money. So what was the response? How much money were you able to raise this year? Almost $1,100 between oh. five classes. And we're talking ninth graders. Ninth graders. They're going that selfish yeah. age, but they yeah. gave so generously. Was that neat to see as a teacher? It was wonderful. We had two boys that individually um, donated about $250 a piece of their own money. Um, 
cashed their paychecks and brought it in and put that in the jar. And then other students and parents donated, and it was just oh, amazing. What a neat thing to see. Well, it thanks was for great. sharing your story. Thank Tell you. your class thanks as well oh, for I their will. efforts. That's really neat I to will. hear We're about. It really is inspiring. If you'd like to get inspired as well, there are more inspiring stories on their website. If you'd like to read more about those, you can go to christmasjars.com. Hey, today your tradition.